And we are back to do the Aldi drive, everyone. Let's see how it's gonna do today. But we do have a little bit of construction. And I'm even gonna let it, we're gonna stay, it's, the Navigate data is getting so good that I'm gonna start letting it exit parking lots now. And I think I'm gonna change the kind of the way I judge and rate um, these drives. Not necessarily, they're, they aren't going to be strictly on disengagements for like strict metrics. It's gonna be some subjective metrics involved. And the traditional met metrics are that it disengage on the road because it never could do parking lots. But now that parking lots are starting to work better thanks to better nav data and other functions like that, now we can start counting disengagements leaving parking lots because that, that adds a whole new layer of challenge to these type of routes. You tell me what you think. If you want to see that, that type of challenge, I'll definitely add that in and we'll continue to do so with version 12 and everything else. Excellent. That's what I would have done, gone into the middle lane. And then maybe even technically I know that I should be in the, the far right lane for where I'm going. But I'm actually glad I got in the middle lane because now we're gonna see, see what it's trying to do right here. It's trying to go cross over the lanes and hopefully they kind of redid some of the painted lines since they've repaved up ahead right here. And hopefully that will not cross over. It needs to stay on the left side of the road, but it keeps on wanting to cross over right here. It should not do that in the middle of the intersection. Okay, let's see how it's gonna work. Now, see, that's the thing, it shouldn't do that. It's very frowned upon to go change lanes in the middle of an intersection. Like, it, know, it needs to, it know it needs to get in the right lane here. And that's why it's doing it, but at least it should turn on the blinker if it's gonna do something like that. In my opinion, that's bad behavior. And outside of test, like these 10 type of test videos, I probably would disengage for that. Everything is paved in here now. We don't have to worry about the potholes. Last time we disengaged due to potholes. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. It's a nice smooth road. This, this road hasn't been repaved in a very long time. Um, and I, yeah, I can't, I mean, at least a decade, I feel like it hasn't been repaved. It's been a long time. But it's, it's def, definitely needed. It had a lot of potholes and a lot of uh, the, whatever the sewer um, gr grates or sewer um, can't think of the name with the round plates in the middle of the road now they're all covered up and everything's super smooth it definitely seems like as long as I'm looking forward that the nags have been reduced seems that way someone else double check me so there's a nag I haven't touched a wheel since right before I said Hey, we don't have to deal with potholes. That right where we're turning right onto this road. So that was a, I don't know, a good minute or two of no, no nags. We'll see how the next time I get nags. I'm guessing it's gonna be before I make the turn. I'm not gonna touch the screen because I bet when you touch the screen, that immediately tells the computer, hey, you should um, go to the next nag. Make sure you're holding onto the wheel. But as long as I'm looking forward and my eyes aren't gazing off, which they did a couple times. Just, it's just the way I drive. I look around at my surroundings. I look at look at the mirror behind me. Look at my surroundings around me. See what the car beside of me is doing. And so I, I'm glancing off constantly. And that's the advantage of full self driving. It allows you to do that. And you know you're you're pretty much safe uh, from the car. You know it stays in its lane. So you can. Hey everyone. Well, it turns out I had uh, run out of space on my phone and it stopped a while back before the turn. I wanted to show you how quickly um, it's rerouted. You didn't, probably didn't even get to the point of uh, me saying I was going to Harbor Freight. <laughs> and so I rerouted and it was just 
instant. I could do it like while driving. And it's just it's so great. It's my favorite thing. Like if that's all I got for the holiday update, I would have been happy. But of course we got all these other features and yeah. Um this I will not let the car drive out. Oh. We got lucky here, Let's see. Can we look? It should actually Oh no, okay, that's right. Um, we're, um, you, I don't know if I said it in the video, but we're going to the Hendersonville Supercharger just so you can, so we can check it out, see what it looks like. Um, I haven't gone, gone past in a couple weeks, see if there's any updates, got rid of the fencing. I think it's just re waiting for electricity. That was a pretty smooth behavior, I think, I mean, it could have waited and got over correctly, but I think that's acceptable. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty, I think, popular supercharger. Uh, that dot is where it is. I wonder if it'll show you in relation to everything else. It seems to be a little bit more cautious, staying further back at lights. So here's this. That's the next closest supercharger. You have to visit this area, which is very popular, Brevard. And then you have Lake Lure. And I'm down here. Uh, like, the visit this whole area you would have to come up the astral and back down like an hour out of your way 30 minutes up and 30 minutes back it's just it's the longest time it's just so dumb i don't know why this person's going up in the middle of a red light but they're probably trying to get get ahead when it changes unless they're just trying to run the red light okay i don't know anyways but yeah they're just it's so nice that we're gonna have one right here. That's that fills in a good gap. We need one down here in Columbus, and that basically fills straight over in the red light. Unless his light's broken. I don't think so. It's possible. A full slow driving won't do that. What it would do is it was gonna bail and get in the right lane and go up around. If is what it would do if, if the light stopped working. Now that is a good scenario if the, all the lights did stop working correctly. Which is a good question, like what would happen? What would it do? Would it eventually run the light when it felt safe to do so? I don't know. Okay, so Panera is where we're going. Um, Oh, it's kind of stop in the middle of the road, isn't it? Okay, well, let's just uh, end this right here. I think all we're going to do is just um, kind of go through the parking lot, and then we'll go back to uh, Aldi from here. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see the supercharger is basically complete. We would be pulling in right here. Got 12 stalls. Everything looks nice. I just gotta turn the electricity on is all. And I guess they have to patch in. Let me just turn my uh, camera so you can see it. Right there is my favorite stall. That is a pull-in stall for Cybertruck and for people towing trailers and vans and whatever else. Please don't use those stalls if you do not have something behind your car. Please keep them open even if they'll Superchargers wide open. Don't steal those stalls, please. But that's happy. I I should almost never have to use this since I'm local. But if I ever get home and I'm like bare minimum charge and you know I just have to stop for two minutes to make it home, I will do it. Let's see. Let's keep on going. Nice little update here. Navigate the Aldi. Oh, watch it not work. Oh, there we go. So it should take a right here, in my opinion. Oh, let's make this light. Maybe it's stuck in this light. Okay, what way was it going? Okay, so it, it took the way I wanted to go. So this is just a bunch of, um, pay attention to the radio, because it, it knew I was looking away at the screen when I enabled it. 
As long as you know you can cancel out the the flash and then that doesn't count towards your nag, I guess that works. And extra cautious at the four-way stop. You can go, car. Very cautious there. This intersection, I don't know if I've ever done this on video, maybe one time a long time ago. This intersection is difficult for the car because sometimes it's not easy to see down left. It's the oncoming cars. And then you have traffic coming from the right up the hill. That's easier to see. But I can't see from the left. And I can see there's a car coming. I would not go right now. I'm going to disengage if it tries to go. Actually, never mind. Um, the car stopped from coming down the hill. So it was safe to go. So that my car did a good job. And so now we're going to go in the Aldi. Everyone, you didn't even see this part. Um, I do want to mention I had three, two or three disengagements strictly. In, what the heck? That was, um, it just randomly decided to break really hard right there. I'm going to go right here. I did have some disengagements, though I guess I can't really put them in the video. Um, that was because it kept on trying when I was crossing this road right here. It kept on, there's a right, there's a right turn lane that come, that goes this way. And it kept on trying to get it in the right turn lane to go straight. It's done that a while back, but maybe something with the map data or something on underlying change. Well, but yeah. We'll uh, see you on the way back out, and we'll go home. And we're back, everyone. Sorry for the quality on the last part of this video, but um, we're going to have to set it to 1080p to um, make sure I don't run out of space. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to affect it too badly. Or um, It's mostly just trying to see the visuals and any text on the screen. So, we stop at stop sign, and we're going. There's no cars going from the left. No cars going from the right, and we can, we can go. It shouldn't stop in the middle of the road, though. Okay. Keep going. Is it going to make it? I'm going to press this because I really like to make it through this light. Okay, fine. Well, um, I'm going to stop the video <laughs> because this is a very long light and then we're going to restart it. Okay, and it finally turned. However many minutes later, like what I would have done if I was driving is we've gone through that green light on the right and gone home that direction. It's actually a little, I think it's slightly shorter, but it's a little bit longer time-wise, but that light is so long. It ends up either being the same same time period or something. It just you, know, you have a few more turns, and it's, you know, less highway. But that's that's definitely would have been my preference. It seems like this is fixed, where it's not getting in this right turn light or what, trying like thinking about it. Like what it would do is turn on the blinker and not actually get over. It would turn on the blinker saying, hey, that should get in this lane because we're about to take a right onto the highway. But this is not the this is not the highway entrance ramp here. This goes into the mall. And these little jogs in the map right here confuse it. Like it thinks we're on the like this is not the right side of the road. I don't know why this these are all over the map data. I don't know why it does that. It was interesting how this light, the light I'm stopped at, isn't on the map, but these two are. That's weird. See if it's going to merge onto the highway correctly. And by that, it should turn the blinker on and get over before it gets to the very end. I'm not going to settle on that until I'm sitting in the back car and I don't have to worry about it. It needs to turn on the blinker now. Get over it. Exactly like that. That shouldn't be doing no, no worse than that ever. It really should turn the blinker on sooner. But that was acceptable. Completely acceptable. Now I'm going to go ahead and up the speed. Because no one... Well, one is going up to 65 and no one goes that here. 
is actually not safe to go 60 in this area right here because everyone's going 70. Which is why maintaining speed for traffic flow is happening. cars at the bottom of this hill waiting for people to speed. It's more so for the other side of the road. But still, you don't want to be speeding here. Not, not more than five over. Must be on their lunch break. They're not there right now. They were backed up right here. Um, and they're ready to get people. And they're, trust me, people were going, the speed limit on that side of the road is 45 mile an hour. And people must have been going 60. So they can easily pull anyone they want. They probably look for people going 20 over, so 65. So it makes it an easy, easy ticket. I should have kept on going out of that lane. I'm gonna make it get out of that lane just because there's a car coming up behind me. Especially an exit with a very steep hill. I don't want to use a friction brakes going down this, and I know it is. I could tell my tire had a lot of brake dust on them when I swapped them out for my winter tires. And that's because full self driving just doesn't it doesn't adjust for using maximum region. Okay, that's okay. Come through here, but like, it should be decelerating quicker. Like, come on. You can go. It just kind of just so timidly decelerates right here. I don't know why. And then it break. It break. Okay. Okay. I'm having to press the accelerator. That, that's, that annoys me. Anyways. Um. Yeah, I think this route was about, about the same last week. I will know anything in the video. Uh, should anything special happen, but I think it was pretty good overall. Tell me what you think, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.